virginity now does it only mean that when you break your hymen uh, that means that you've lost your virginity is it really the marker for one's virginity because reading about it I realized that not all women are born with a hymen now do you lose your virginity only when you've had sex because some women lose that uh, through sports and other activities and there used to be a test I don't know if that still exists where you put two fingers inside and if that fits then that means you are not a virgin does that still exist in India I know that as of 2013 they had abolished that that test uh, medically and so there were other ways of determining who was a virgin and who wasn't and joining me today to talk about it is a man who knows a bit too much about virginity now I'm even wondering if you can look at my face and tell <laughs> if I'm a virgin or not he's DSP Dr. Faisal Ayembila, Senior yeah. Medical Officer. Pleasure to have you on the show. Yes, good morning, Bella. Good morning, good how morning are you? Good morning to our cherished viewers Definitely. As well. I hear you're back in town. Uh, just You were back in town just about a week ago. Exactly. Okay. Over the past year, I have um, taken the opportunity to study in London. Great. I did a master's in public okay. health. Oh, in public health. I yes. thought you so were to test hasn't... more virgins <laughs> to be sure if there really are any in existence. But exactly. first of all, let me ask this question. I know okay. it's cliche, but I think a lot of us have a, a misconception about about who a virgin is. So exactly. who is one? Yes, Bella, I'm happy you've asked this question. You know, there are two tightly linked concepts. Mm -hmm. They are similar, but not exactly the same. Okay. When you talk about virginity, it's actually a social construct. Yeah. And a virgin is someone who has never had sexual intercourse. OK, that is established. That is, that is established, okay. whether you are male or female. Oh. But Okay. Yeah, because we have male <laughs> virgins as well, technically speaking. Yes, but then the hymen, mm -hmm. as um, we all know, is a fibrous piece of tissue, human okay. tissue, that lines a part of the vaginal entry. Okay. You know, and mm. it's common in lots of women. We would expect seven out of every ten women to have a hymen. And so that seems wow. to, to some people, be some sort of ID card to mm -hmm. tell whether a person is a virgin or not, which okay. exactly is not the case. Wow. So that means that truly there are some women who are born without a hymen. Oh, yes. A, a lot How of is people. that possible? I thought every woman should have a hymen. You see? Is that, that normal? Exactly. These are some of the misconceptions we would have to deal with. Yeah. You see, so that's up to 30% of women born without the hymen in the first place. 30%? Exactly. Okay. And that's a very large majority. Yeah. And even with those who have the hymen, it's not only sexual activity that could lead to someone losing the hymen because we've had cases where people do vigorous sporting activities mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. could lead to some sort of bleeding. Okay. And so even though they are two different concepts, people tend to lump them together. Mm -hmm. I like to use this analogy, for example, yeah. um, let's say in society, we would want to expect that anyone who is married has um, a ring a around ring. the forefinger. Yeah. Okay, so here is the case. Someone is married and he has the ring. That's what society expects. Mm -hmm. But look at me, for example, I'm currently not married. Okay. Let's say suddenly I start to wear a ring. Mm -hmm. When I step outside, everyone perceives me to be a married person. Yeah. The same way it is with, the vi with the being a virgin okay. and having the hymen. Okay. You can be a virgin and not have a hymen. It's possible. We expect that every virgin should have a hymen mm -hmm. like this, right? Mm -hmm. And we also have people who are not virgins, but they do have a hymen. And so it's a what? very tricky concept. What? <laughs> you, can, you can still have your hymen? Yes. Even after sex? Exactly. And this uh, has been proven for over 100 years. It's, you know, the technical definition is that when you have, everyone expects that when you have sex for the very first time, there is some balloon over there and it mm -hmm. pops and then blood mm -hmm. comes out, mm. which is exactly not the case because studies have shown even up to about 100 years now okay. that some women have had sex for, let's say, about two years consistently and then still have had a medical examination done and the hymen is intact. Okay, I need, I need your comments on this one because <laughs> I'm dazed right now. There's so much I'm finding out already and we're just like two minutes into the discussion. Exactly. But I want to hear from you what you think about virginity and whether the hymen is the marker for one's virginity. Yes. First of all, you said people assume that the hymen is like a ball in there, a balloon that has blood and it pops. Exactly. I thought the hymen looked like a wall. And so it lines the, the, you know, vaginal opening. People even think it's a seal, but it's yeah. not the case because, you know, it's um, the case that when women get into pubertal age, they would have their menstrual period. Yeah. And so it's actually moon shaped, you know, like half of a moon and it lines just the lower part. And oh. so even with an intact hymen, there is still an outlet and that is where menstrual fluid and other discharge would be able to come out through oh. the vaginal opening. But I know some people are born with the, um, with the hymen closed and they have to undergo surgery that's a medical that's, problem okay it's a big medical problem so you have a 16 year old who comes in with lots of abdominal pain uh -huh. you check and the hymen has no opening at all 
So such a person would actually need surgery. So there are people who are walking about with probably mens serious menstrual cramps, As and a it result could be of because of the hymen being intact with no space for having the blood to flow out completely. And this is very common in wow. the ladies in their teenage ages, okay. you know, from 14 to about 18 years of age. Okay. Do we have a way to test? Because like I mentioned during my intro, uh -huh. um, in India it's been banned, even though, I don't know if it was in Ghana as well, but they uh -huh. put two fingers inside. Yes. I don't know if they, op I, I'm not sure what exactly happens, but yes. if the two fingers enter, yes. it means you're a virgin. The quick answer is no. It's wrong? There is, it's wrong. I'll tell you what. You've just given two examples. I'll give you another one. In the Indonesian army, mm -hmm. up until about 30 years ago, if women wanted to join and they were in their reproductive teenage years, yeah. they would have to be checked to see if they were virgins or not okay. before they were allowed to join the army. And in several parts around the world, you would have this white bed sheet and then mm -hmm. you have intercourse with your wife. And if you see there is no blood, you can literally return her back to her maternal mm -hmm. home. The quick answer is no, because people lose their virginity through sports and activity. Yeah. It happens all the time in the hospital. And as I mentioned, it's not some sort of balloon. So if at any point you lose the hymenal, you know, open, you know, the hymenal tissue, yeah. it's very possible you not even notice it. Some people oh. lose it when they're riding bicycles, when they're doing horse riding and all sorts of other activities. And the blood doesn't always flow? The blood, and that's another concept. You know, we've talked about five different, of about five different this scenarios. this is a lot to take in for a day. It is, it is a lot to take in. <laughs> okay. Not every hymen would bleed, even if it's intact. Okay. That's a fact. And so you can have a lady who is 18 years old, mm -hmm. who has the hymen, and let's say gets married at 19, which is of course early, mm -hmm. and would have her first true sexual intercourse and still have no bleeding, even though she's a virgin. Why? Because, why, why is it like that? Because it's not every hymen that bleeds. Okay. Exactly. First of all, not every hymen tears or breaks. Exactly. And not every hymen bleeds. Number two. And so then we're wrong for saying that anyone whose hymen is intact is actually a virgin. That's very similar to saying that every man who's wearing a ring here is married. You see okay. how the concepts, they don't yeah. always align. Okay. We expect that you've not had sex before, so you have the hymen intact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's very possible that someone has not had sex before, but then has no hymen. That means we need to educate our people a lot, because in some parts of the country, especially towards the north, like uh -huh, you mentioned, uh -huh. if you marry a woman uh -huh. and, you know, you have sex and there's no blood on the white bed sheet, uh -huh. then it means she's not a virgin, exactly. and so you can return her. And that's wrong. You see, it's very good we are having this discussion, because you would want to situate this um, sort of discussions within the broader social context. Mm -hmm of discussion so then if you keep doing this then you are getting to a point where you are falsely labeling people as non-virgins when they are actually virgins okay. because then they go to bed they tell you they've never done it before you check and then actually they have no blood at all to prove their virginity yeah and so if you keep going in that direction you realize that you would have some sort of misclassification mm -hmm. because the fact that you have a hymen you don't have a hymen, that's not mean you are not a virgin. So it's not every virgin who has a hymen. Okay. So yeah. let's say that, you know, I'm a lesbian. Okay. Or, you know, I'm more interested in women. Okay. Because people assume that you can also only break it once there's penetration. Exactly. But we're here saying that if you ride a bicycle, for uh -huh. some reason it could break. Any uh -huh. sport and activity could break your hymen. Yes. So I'm confused at this point. Is yes. it only when you penetrate? That's why I said it's a social construct. Yeah. And so in medical jargon, we really don't have virginity as an... So nobody is a virgin, literally. <laughs> in medical context, yeah. we have the ladies who have the hymen and ladies who do not have the hymen. Okay. And then society decides that ladies who have the hymen are virgins. Yeah. And those who do not have the hymen but what does, are not virgins. what does the medical field think? So are we saying that we were all born non-virgins because... The medical field would say that, does she have a hymen? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's likely she's a virgin. Mm -hmm. does, she, does she have a hymen? No. Then it's likely she's not a virgin. So then it's not really a black and white picture. Uh. It pretty much depends on the scenario. I've had, you know, I work in the police hospital. Yeah. So sometimes I'll be there, I would have parents cry and bring in, let's say, their 14-year-old mm. daughter. You check and realize that she's bleeding profusely. Yeah. Then they are maybe accusing someone in the neighborhood of having, you know, engaged in some foul play. Mm. But then you would ask and they realize that this lady had this sort of bleeding as a result of playing excessive football or okay. you know, some sporting activity. Mm. So in that case, societally, she's not a very, she, society would say she's lost her hymen. Yeah. But she didn't have sex. She lost it by riding a bicycle. So she's a virgin still? I think so. Because if you say a virgin is someone who's never had sexual intercourse, mm. then at that point, she lost her virginity through riding a bicycle. Okay. 
You see okay. how tricky the thing is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tricky. And I, I can't put my finger on one as to whether it's lost through, you know, sex uh -huh. or through sporting activities exactly. or whatever activity. That the two are involved. inextricably linked. Uh, yeah. And that's the difficulty we find all the time. Hmm. So then people come to me, doctor. Uh, my 19 year old examine her for me it's we don't encourage that i mean uh, that's okay. a disclaimer we don't okay. encourage that but then if you go ahead and do the examination and realize it's not there mm -hmm. you would have to be sure to properly interrogate the issue and ask the lady if she's engaged in any in other any thing activity because it's very possible she will tell you doctor i have never done this before mm. then you check and there's still no hymen so you can't use the hymen as the id card to show that someone is a virgin. Okay, well, on social media, you can send in your comments as well. Uh, hashtag is TV3 New Day. We're asking that does the hymen uh, determine specifically if one is a virgin or not? Or, you know, if you can tell us about penetration, whether that determines exactly whether you're a, vir a virgin or not. Now, um, these topics, uh, are they not hot for the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just want to find out because if you were watching, you realize that we're being educated a lot about what really is the situation as well. Um, the money legend says intelligent discussion. Thank you. Now, France says, no, you don't uh, lose your virginity. Um, when you, ugh, okay, this is confusing. I'm confused. So I'm asking, do you lose your virginity only when you have sex? And she says, no, you don't. And, it, and no, it does not. Okay. If Yakasi says, well, yes, you lose your virginity through sex because you only know when one is not a virgin by entering her. Exactly. That's the biggest misconception ever. And I'd like to, Bella, as I said, situate this argument in the social context. Mm -hmm. I was in London for a whole year. Nobody ever discussed virginity as an issue, honestly. Mm. But then when you get here, you realize that society, you know, I mean, we are Ghanaians, and society expects that this would be the norm. But yet again, mm -hmm. um, I would say to the person who sent the tweet, yeah. that let's say, so what if the lady was a black queen's um, footballer? Footballer, yeah. And let's say from high school, went mm -hmm. to play some football and lost the hymenal the hymen, tissue. Would yeah. you say at that point that she's not a virgin? Mm. And that is the problem. Okay. That's the main issue now. Okay. Trust the process. Kofiru says, yes, I think you lose your virginity once you have sex. Um, doing other immoral things doesn't cost you that. And Vincent Bayentin says, I'm not a female, but I can say no to this since having sex is not the only way of breaking your virginity. I like the message before that says that <laughs> other immoral things uh, will not cost you your virginity. So let's just say that I use toys. I've uh -huh. never had sex with someone. I uh -huh. use toys uh -huh. or whatever the case. Uh -huh. Then that means that I'm clean. You see, that's where these concepts come in. Primary virgin, secondary yeah. virgin, tertiary. Are those even true? They are all societal constructs. Ah. You see, they are, when you talk about a societal construct, it's what everyone else, you know, within a broader, the broader view of society considers to be the norm. Yeah. So the question is, um, it's a bit hot for the morning, mm. as you mentioned. But let's say if someone engages in, um, in our intercourse, for example, is the person a virgin? Yeah. You see? So let's say for some reason that's all she does. Mm -hmm. You check and the hymen is there. But she's had in our intercourse. Yeah. Do you call her a virgin or not? Do you call her a virgin? I would say, <laughs> I would say she's not a virgin. She's not? I would say. Okay. Because in this case... The hymenal tissue is not the ID card for sexual activity. I see. <laughs> anyway, send in more of your comments. I'm just going to read a few of them. I have okay. another question to ask you because I know society places a lot of respect on women who are able to keep themselves exactly. until marriage. Exactly. And it's causing a lot of slut shame and especially mm -hmm. on social media. Okay, anyway. Uh, this one says, ooh, a lot of education there. Bella, I learned riding a bicycle can make you lose your virginity. Well, the doctor um, confirmed that. So this one says, ride on, sir. You're motivating a lot of people out there. <laughs> the man is well educated. You should have added your name, but it's <laughs> fine. Uh, good morning, Bella. So the doctor is saying that you can break your virginity without sexual intercourse. Please throw more light on that. I will let him do that, even though he's talked extensively on it. But just for your sake, we'll touch on it again. Now, also... Why do doctors ask if you've had sexual intercourse upon telling them you've missed your period, even when you haven't engaged in the act? Oh, well, because common things are common. We just want to be sure that the person is not pregnant. Ah. Uh, so that's why we ask. Okay. John Neal and Tivana Poy says, the topic is very educative. Many thanks to TV3 for always touching on sensitive topics okay um hello i'm elsie it's true although i wasn't a virgin before i got married yet still 
uh, my, you mean your, your <laughs> VJJ is still tight. Uh -huh. And the first time I had sex with my husband, I still bled mm -hmm. to the extent that when I was also going to give birth, I was cut because the doctor said my hymen is still tight. Exactly. You can have continuous sex and still have your hymen. Bella, exactly uh. what I said in the beginning of our discussion. <laughs> I don't get this. Okay, but once you have a baby, it's going uh -huh. to break the hymen. Oh, yes. That, I mean, the process of childbirth is, you know, it's, it's intrusive enough to, to take break it. any sort of Okay, so anybody who has had a baby, is, is, even though they had their hymen intact, uh -huh. at oh, that, that point... That, yeah, that would be the... You can't even be a grenade. secondary virgin. Not at all. Not at I all. have had sex to... Um, Okay, I had sex to my lady. Um, oh, sorry, I just missed. Okay, I didn't see blood at that time. I didn't see blood at that time. But when she got home, she started bleeding. Yes, because you can have some form of secondary hemorrhage. Secondary hemorrhage in the sense that it's not the act that stimulates the bleeding, but oh. it's the series of events shortly after the act that would lead to the bleeding process. Oh, so, so you, you might not bleed immediately. Yes, yeah, so it's not every virgin who bleeds on that day. Can you bleed maybe a week later? Maybe three days after. Three days after likely. you can bleed. So exactly. if you see blood three days later, it's normal. It's Oh, yes. Let's say for married women who truly haven't had sexual intercourse before, it's normal. Husbands, to answer those questions. you need to relax for your women, okay? <laughs> because now we're learning that she doesn't necessarily have to bleed the same day, the exactly. same time. Three days later. Yeah, up to 72 hours. Research has shown. You should be patient. Be Stop sending your wives back home. <laughs> uh, Bella, you're looking pretty. Thank you. This is a perfect discussion. Can you have complication for keeping your virginity for too long? This is Angie at Suhum. No, no medically, it's not the case. Okay. This is, of course, something that the young men would always use and, you know, to as yeah. a form of guys to yeah. get women, coerce women to do all sorts of things. It's not true at all. But there was a study. Okay, uh -huh. I'll come there. There was a study, uh -huh. I think, in the States where they uh -huh. said, uh, I think they studied about a thousand women and they yes. said that women who um, have sex earlier in uh -huh. life or uh -huh. break their virginity around the age 19, they, uh -huh. they enjoy sex better than women who keep their virginity <laughs> till like 26 years. I have seen that study. Yeah. I have seen that particular study. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if it was set in the south of the U.S. or so. Yeah. But the problem with that particular study was the societal setting. Mm. It has to do, that's the thing about health generally. Something, you know, findings you have, let's say, in the U.S. may not necessarily be replicated here yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. And so that study says that the women who have had sexual intercourse early are more likely to learn more about, you know, stimulation and all of that. Oh, and therefore okay. are more likely to enjoy, to enjoy sex. Exactly. So it's not really about the... It's not really a causal relationship. It's ah. more of just the correlation between the two. Okay. Uh-huh. Please help me to understand you well. Who is a virgin? Young men or young ladies? So society says... <laughs> <laughs> society says a virgin is someone who has not had sexual intercourse mm. and sexual intercourse i mean penovaginal sexual intercourse okay society doesn't really tell us whether oral intercourse means if someone has oral intercourse is she still a virgin yeah it doesn't really tell us that it doesn't also tell us whether you know you know penetration is also considered a breach a of virginity breach. Mm. so these are the gray areas that we still have to look at okay so hi it's bernice i really love the discussion thank you very much bernice uh it happened to me and i was confused about it can you please um you know expatiate on this one because we need to understand exactly what happened to you so that our doctor here can explain it to you this one says thank you very much doctor let me go That's on to the smart. other side and doc i was asking uh -huh. we place so much value on women yes. who are able to keep their virginity yes. till marriage yes and so once a girl once we find out a girl has been having sex even yes. prior to marriage yes. we slut shame her it's a very sad situation yeah Bella, even to the extent that the who has released a document on this you know we live in a patriarchal dominantly patriarchal society where yeah. people would go ahead to say it's a man's world mm -hmm. why don't we have virginity tests for men and yeah. why must it be women okay and that is actually being used as a tool to perpetrate violence against women mm. yeah okay all right so um I'm going here. Grand Pala Mohammed, very educated. Thank you so much, CBT. Thank you. We're glad you're enjoying this conversation. Yes, Bella, it's always been the case in Africa. Uh, I like the doctor's flow and how he's clarifying these misconceptions we've known for years. Big ups. That's from Omar Habach. Thank you. Thank Immortal you. the King says, Doc, I really want to be like you. You are so intelligent. You oh, like thank you. virginity talks. <laughs> Eric Mello says, Hey, Bella, I'm confused, pal. So what really is a real virgin and what can be noticed of a real virgin? There's nothing like a real yes, virgin. Yes, Bella, and that's the problem because I've had lots of ladies come to the consulting room and they tell you things like, oh, doctor, because I don't want to 
do anything to my hymen. I tend to do, you know, some sort of oral stimulation yeah. and other things. Yeah. So am I a virgin? And I asked them that, what do you think? Because it's also very confusing to us. Mm -hmm. And because everyone is saying the hymen is the ID card yeah. for the, you know, to check for virginity. And so it's, it's a very it's great dicey. area. But I would say, well, all forms of sex have their risks as well. Mm. And so looking beyond the societal scope, um, we should all just be safe and we should. practice some safe um, sex. Okay, so in the northern part of Ghana as uh -huh. well. Where I come from. That's where you come from. There's <laughs> also been this issue of um what do you call it choco no not choco not tea. so cutting no. the oh that's female female genital mutilation. genital mutilation yes. and they do that to avoid women um uh, to prevent women from having you know their interest in having sex exactly well um, eventually it has an effect on sex when you get married or when you're with your it's partner it's disheartening i mean yeah. to say the least and it's a very sad situation the main issue is you know the fact that it's a male dominant society everyone goes like why should women enjoy sexual intercourse yeah so they go ahead to cut off the clitoral yeah. hood and do all sorts of things which i would say is too early to discuss on television yeah it's a very sad situation but then it's society's attempt to make sure that the male dominance is preserved and then mm. females are sort of looked as, uh, upon in a negative light yeah. and shamed as you mentioned earlier on. And so that's my problem with the whole with virginity the whole... concept. Okay. And, um, All right. On to some more messages. Hymen. Producer, don't worry. I'll stand in my heels like that. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty is pain. Eric Mello says, I'm very confused. Okay, I read that already. Alan Francis says, there is a difference between losing virginity and losing your hymen. Stop confusing us with terms. Don't cover up obvious issues with signs or emotions well alan i would say to alan i like his terminology medically as a medical doctor with all my experience i like to talk about losing the hymen yeah losing virginity is purely social yeah it's a yeah. social construct mm. so medically i can tell you whether the hymen is lost or not okay yes benedict says i'm not sure i remember my teacher told me you can lose it through swimming the sea tides and waves people even have lost the hymen through profuse menstrual bleeding so huh? I wouldn't be surprised about this at all, yes? How? It's possible if, let's say, a 15-year-old has profuse bleeding with lots of clots as she starts her menstrual journey. Yeah. It's possible that the force with which the flow comes out might be strong enough to obliterate the hymen entirely. So I see. So that's another one. I see. I'm sure we'll need a whole week to discuss I know. this issue. <laughs> anyway, Panthera Leo says virginity is not a scientific term. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Michael Lopez says, so how will I know if someone is a virgin? Big question. Yeah. The best the doctors can do to, for you is to tell you whether the hymen is there or not. But then as they say, to prove with don't, with that, um, beyond reasonable doubt that this hymen is lost as a result of sexual activity is where we are not always too sure. So when you are you know with a patient how uh -huh. do you determine or uh -huh. what tests do you do to prove that the person is a virgin <laughs> okay in the context of rape or defilement yeah and i would say um, big shout outs to police hospital because mm. we have lots of rape and defilement cases okay in that context depending on the circumstantial evidence we would expect let's say a six-year-old to have a hymen intact yeah. so then if i look and then i see that there are some bruises and some you know untoward signs in the in the when examination you say you process look. If I look, if I examine, Do insert sorry. machines? Well, oh, lately we just like to use a good source of light, you oh. know, and then pat the labia to the left and to the right. The hymen is just in the opening, and so we don't have to insert anything to have access to examining it. Hmm. So we just go left, right, we look this way, someone shines some light and we can see everything. I see. Yeah, so it's not a complex thing at all. Not at all. Yes. But no more fingers. No, 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 the... no. That has been uh, right. stopped long ago. All right, all right. Yes. So Aquasi says, of course, yes, you lose your virginity when your hymen is broken and when you have sexual intercourse. Okay, this one, just call me Bra Sagasha says, thanks for the education. Uh, Paul Bashi says, in this 21st century, no. Uh, Caleb Ariako says, can sex only break a lady's virginity? We spoke on that earlier. Uh -huh. And uh, he says, no, because you can, you know. You can lose the hymen you through lose the hymen. other sorts of vigorous physical activity. What about the religious aspect of it? This is from Khalifa Terry Bone West. <laughs> we have a medical doctor in the house, by the way. I don't well, know if he's comfortable maybe, touching on. Maybe a, just a brief comment on it. The yeah. thing about health is now the new paradigm of medical practice, let's say in Ghana or anywhere else in the yeah. world, is to look at health beyond just giving pills and tablets okay we'd want to look at social cultural determinants and mm. religion as well but it's a very sensitive issue yeah. and so maybe this might not be the be most the, appropriate exactly forum. okay yeah. please how can sports break a woman's virginity oh excessive physical activity someone is a goalkeeper the ball is up here and she goes for it 
It's so possible. is it when your legs open too much? Either the legs open too much or close too suddenly. But huh? it's common in, let's say... <laughs> <laughs> it's close too suddenly. It's That's like well, keeping the hymen intact because I'm closing it. It's a paradox, isn't it? Yeah. And then this happens a lot in the context of playing, let's say, tennis. Yeah. You stretch and you, you know, you move this way. And if the movement is not aligned in a particular plane, mm. that shearing force could cause the hymen to go down. And so it's paradoxical, but it's true. I have a lot of questions to ask God. I know, I know. I don't I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In science, it's either you have a human or not. It's either you have a high man or not. Oh, that's what you meant. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John Process, I don't really think so. Uh, share the facts for those of us who couldn't watch. We will definitely put this on social media for you. Virginity is overrated. That's from Davi Badela. That one is our society. And when it comes to societal norms, these are things that you wouldn't want to argue with because yeah. this is how we've been brought up of and course. define our very being. I'll read a few more messages so we can... Oh, we even have just a few more. So Prince Seth Edukra says, no, vigorous activity can break the hymen. Uh, some medical procedures can also break it. It is not only about sex. Can I sue a doctor <laughs> if... You know, there's some medical procedure, procedure that, and my hymen breaks. The thing about medical procedures is we always want to weigh the cost of the procedure and the benefits we would accrue. Oh. So if I have a 14-year-old girl who's having the menses sitting in the womb because mm. the hymen is not open, I would explain to you and tell you that, look, because of this reason, we have to open it up. Okay. Are you okay? And that would help you. Oh. So it's always, you know, a give and take so scenario. So you see consent You before. see consent. Are there times when maybe you don't see consent and for some reason something happens and it breaks? Once in a while, in very desperate times, when let's say the patient is literally in shock mm. because of the accumulation of blood, at that point, our duty as doctors is to save life. Okay. And so we'll save your life when you are awake. We tell you that, you look, explain. we had to save your life. And okay. I'm sorry we had to go through your hymen. Okay. All right, so this one says, thank you for the sex education. Uh, that's from Isaac Amoboama. And Al Hassan says, Bella, please ask Doc, if, is it only football or hard work can also do so? The hard work aspect, um, unless, of course, it involves lots of jumping and moving, mm. that would sort of create that sort of sharing force. Mm. Um, I, I wouldn't think so. Okay. All right. Well, um, unfortunately, I cannot carry on, even though there are lots and lots of mes uh, messages. Elam says we need more education because we are lost. Uh, James says, not sure. I remember my friend told me she lost it through dancing. How vigorous was the dance? Is there Al-Qaeda? <laughs> <laughs> I'm even trying to picture it right it's, now. It's you unlikely, know? but well, maybe it's a very, very vigorous form of dance. Maybe okay. dance class, professional gymnastic yeah, dances. That you could, could be. lose it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Big Sean says virgins are not common now in Ghana. What are you trying to say? Some of us are, you know, <laughs> we are still there some way, somehow. Uh, hmm, but in percentage, hymen, hymen determines whether she's a virgin or not, as compared to those who do not have hymen. Uh, Bella, I had sex with my girlfriend a long time ago, but still her hymen is there. Is she a virgin? Yes, she is. Good question. No, her hymen not. is there. <laughs> but once there's penetration, you're no more a virgin. That's what society says. But, no, but medically, I asked medically, what's that? Okay, medically, she has the hymen. Okay. And so we could say, ah, well, she is. Doctor, they are feeling you. <laughs> my time is up, but Daniel says, I really like his delivery. Solid guy. And Champion says, thanks for your education. Well, that's all we'll have with our doctor today. And it's been eye-opening. We'll definitely try and put this on social media because there's a lot that we need to take out from it. And so he's a DSP and also a medical yes. doctor at the police hospital. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Faisal. Okay. And